are able to do in the summertime. And about a month ago, you flew with the Blue Angels. What was that like? Share those memories. Yeah, it was awesome. You know, I uh, found out about six months prior. It's, it's kind of one of those things where I'd get the ball rolling and you know contact a few people, and it wasn't the easiest process. But uh, you know, once it, once it came down to uh, top of the jet, I was definitely uh, excited all summer. And then you know, once I had to face the reality of uh, actually going up in it, I was pretty uh, pretty nervous and. Uh, I think the flight was at about 9:30 or so, and uh, you know, a few a few people advised me probably it would be smart not to eat too much that morning because uh, <laughs> you might get sick. So uh, I stayed pretty light for breakfast, and uh, you know, it was just experience of a lifetime to to go up and you know, one of the premier fighter jets, uh, you know, in our uh, Navy Air Force. Uh, it was just. Uh, Great experience, you know. I uh, I watched videos of uh, Kurt Malpe when he did it. I think I uh, proud enough to say I did better than he did. I know he <laughs> he uh, saw he passed out. I uh, I didn't pass out. I blacked out a few times, but uh, I didn't pass out. I stayed with it. So uh, you know, I was excited about that. But uh, just the maneuvers that these pilots go through uh, each day, you know, overseas and you know, in practice, it's it's amazing. I think we pulled uh, seven FGs. He said, which uh, you know the the stress and, and the pain you go through when you're when you're sitting in that cockpit is it's unbelievable. I mean, you feel the pressure, you know, on your head, and you get lightheaded. And if you don't breathe the right way, you're gonna you're gonna pass out instantly. So the respect I have for those guys and what they do and uh, what they do for our country is uh, is amazing. It's a little bit different than being on uh, the Millennium Force at Cedar Point, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's a lot different. It's uh, you can't really compare the two. Uh, but uh, it was it was a great experience, and uh, yeah, I'm thankful I had that opportunity. Drew, Patrick, uh, anything uh, during the summer that you'd like to share with our, our audience here? Some fun things. Uh, I went to Hawaii for the first time. And that was uh, quite the experience. Did you surfing? Sightseeing. No surfing. No. We uh, went snorkeling. Uh, a lot of the sites.